Well, the Houston Astros spring training is just around the corner, and we got the notes and stuff for you today, February 21st. Welcome back to Clem Hawks. I'm Gillis TV, and if you're new to the channel, don't mind anything MLB, any team, you're just a huge MLB fan. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as we are on our goal to 4,100. We are 72 away from that. Now, like I said, we got Astro notes here involving Jordan Alvarez, Michael Brantley, and a prospect too that could see possibly some playing time this year, if not certainly next year if he keeps progressing the way he does. So let's get into it. Astros outfielder Jordan Alvarez is dealing with some left-hand soreness with both he and his manager, Dusty Baker, speaking to reporters today about it, including Chandler Rome of the Houston Chronicle and Mark Berman of Fox 26. Alvarez isn't currently swinging a bat, but expects to do so in the upcoming days. This has been kind of a deal with Jordan Alvarez for about a year, just over a year, dating back to just beginning of last season, where he just couldn't... Just hand soreness. And it didn't really affect him at all last year bashing 37 home runs for the Astros and winning a World Series. But after a while, you know, it does get sore. It's one of those injuries where, yes, the pain will go away with some rest, but it will come back after so long. Yes, go back for rest. So I can see, you know, the Astros kind of doing what, the Toronto Raptors did with Kawhi Leonard back in 2019 where it's just load management. You know, play him a few games, get his hand better, rest him, and so on and so forth. Alvarez dealt with soreness in both hands last year, but it doesn't seem to as though offseason surgery was ever seriously considered. With Baker relying, relaying that doctor said he didn't need it despite the seemingly persistent nature of the issue. There doesn't seem to be a lot of concern with Alvarez suggesting that it can be addressed with rest. It certainly didn't seem to hamper him too much last year as he launched 37 home runs and hit a 306 average. Though he did go to the IL once for soreness in his right hand. So like I said, take it by year here. You know, the offseason probably helped a bit to rest it. But he still has dealings with that soreness. You know, the doctors did say, hey, we he doesn't need surgery. But maybe sooner or later down the road, he might need to if it's not addressed properly. So that's something to keep an eye on. Hopefully he gets back in the batting box here in the next few days. See where that goes. So we'll keep you posted on what's going on with Jordan Alvarez. Everyone involved seems to be downplaying the issue for now, and this all might pass in a few days, but given that Alvarez is one of the most potent sluggers in the league, and the soreness seems to have been lingering for quite some time now, it will be a situation monitoring going forward. There we go. Like I just said, we'll keep an update on that. You know, if he starts going to IL for soreness, it will be a big blow, but there are alternative players to bring in like Guriel to come fill in the DH role if need be. You know, that is just, you know, going off of a limb there for if something does have to happen with Jordan Alvarez. Now let's shift focus here for a bit. And elsewhere on the roster, we're going to talk about outfielder Michael Brantley, who, you know, decided to go back to the Astros a few years ago, I think last year as well. And... He is trying to get back into shape following last year's shoulder surgery, but could spend some time at first base once he's healthy. Well, you are going to say, well, why are they saying first base? Well, that's because I'm in the same vote. You just signed Jose Abreu, but there are other factors to this. I read the article before talking about it, so it does make sense once we get there. A report from Brian McTargart of MLB.com indicates Brantley has been getting some work at first base lately, with the club exploring if he's a viable emergency option there. Houston will have Jose Abreu gain the Leon share of work at the Colt Corner after he signed a three-year $58.5 million deal this offseason, but it seems there's a chance Brantley could 
give him the occasional day off. So, like I said, rest days are important for guys where, you know what, if you're giving Alvarez a day off from hitting anything, you move Abreu to DH, you put Brantley at first, because, you know, it's a small package. It is going from outfielder position to first base, so there are going to be some challenges, but that's what spring training's for. Brantley has a small amount of first base experience in the or has a small amount of first base experience in the minors way back in 20 or 2007 and 2008 but none at the AAA level or in the majors. We'll see how it goes Brantley said at the same time it's a team first approach always. I've always been like that. If I can help the team out in any way, I'll be available. It's a lot of hard work. I'm learning a lot very quickly, but it's been going smoothly so far. In the experiment if the experiment proves successful and Brantley becomes a legit option here, it could provide the club with a bit more flexibility in setting its lineup. Furthermore, Brantley has had a few significant injuries in his career, and turning 36 in May, meaning there might be some wisdom to having him play a position that generally requires less running around the field. Abreu will also be in his age 36 season, so helping him get off his feet on occasion could have its benefits. So this is where the thought process is coming in. If Abreu gets injured, needs a rest day, Brantley's there. Because you look at this next part of this article, it's going to the depth chart of the Houston Astros. And there's not a lot of depth guys they can bring up to play first base if anything happens. For the time being, Abreu is likely followed by David Hensley and J.J. Mativich on the first base chart. Though they have only 16 and 32 games of MLB experience to represent or together, it's always possible that the club could find someone else to jump in as well if Michael Brantley cannot do it, such as longtime Astro Yuli Gurriel. That's why I brought his name up earlier. Though general manager Dana Brown recently articulated the difficulty in finding a substantial role for a veteran like Gurriel, Unless something changes on that front, it seems Brantley will take the, a shot at making himself a part-time option for the position. So that's good news for, you know, Astros. Is they're just trying to cover in case something happens to Abreu, needs a rest day. They don't need to rely on a guy that has 16 and another guy that has 32 MLB games. They'll take a vet, veteran like uh, Brantley. Now, just some minor league news about a one top prospect of the Astros. In more long-term news, prospect Drew Gilbert is expected to be ready to go when the minor league season starts. Director of Player Development Sarah Goodrum tells Rome, Gilbert was the club's first-round pick last year and played 10 games in the lower levels of the minors before crashing into the outfielder outfield wall in cl- a Class A game. He was initially diagnosed with a forearm contusion though it was later discovered that he suffered a dislocation in his right elbow, which ended his season. He's just 22 years old and will still have to climb his way up the minor league ladder, but the fact he's going to start the season healthy is some encouraging news. So that's just the news about a prospect who there's high hopes, former first-round pick, that they can get stuff done. But that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Gillis TV. I'm on out of here.